The next technique we're going to be uh, doing is going to be against a lapel grab or a collar grab with a punch. This is just a different type of sucker punch, really. So Chris is going to grab, and he's going to cock his hand. Again, you watch the shoulder, you, you see what's going on immediately. Now, one of the things that I want to do is, this can happen very, very quickly. It's not going to give me much time to do a lot. So what I need to do is a couple of things. One, I want to try to take my face and head out of harm's way. The, the, the best place for that to be is right here, right by Chris's shoulder. So my, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to get my head close to his shoulder. At the same time, I'm going to bring this hand up, protecting and trying to stop that punch before it really gets off. So Chris comes in, I'm doing two things. See, I'm dropping down, bringing my head down close to his shoulder, and stopping the attack. Now, if I miss this block, if he comes in again, and I even miss it, I'm late with it, I'm still okay if I get my head down in here because the punch is going to travel past me. He really can't punch, certainly not with any power, to this part of his body. So he grabs, I duck down and block. Now from here I'm in close. I'm going to use my in-close weapons, which are my elbows and knees. So from here I'm going to come over with an elbow strike into the face, elbow strike on the other side, knee kicks, knee kicks, and knee kicks, and continue until he's unable to continue his attack. So once again, we'll do it a little faster. He comes in, he grabs, throw a punch. I'm going to come in from here. Bang, bang, bang. Knee kick, knee kick. And then maybe if I wanted to here, finish off with some more elbow techniques. Okay? One more time. He comes in. Block down low. One, two, three, four, five. And then finish up here with elbow techniques. So that's our defense against a collar grab punch combination.